Welcome back to another episode of Smart Fox TV. Hey everyone, this is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. On Sunday, Facebook went through a massive redesign again. This time, the navigation elements as well as the settings and the menus were all moved to the left of the desktop version of the platform. Facebook says that we have moved all your navigation options into one place. This change combines everything you need on Facebook, your profile, search, notifications, messages, and more. You noticed from last week, iPhone users also went through a major change when the search bottom was put towards the bottom of the screen. Although you can change this feature back to the top of the screen through your settings, Mac rumors said that the controls are brought to the bottom of the screen so that they're easier to reach with one hand, which makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't mean we have to like it. This is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. Have a great day. Hello, this is Shane with the latest news. LeBron James, at 37 years old, put up a classic performance against the Golden State Warriors on Saturday night. LeBron scores a total of 56 points and 10 rebounds as the Lakers center. This is his first 50 point performance since 2019. The Lakers are not having a good season so far. This win is much needed to keep their hopes up. Maybe if LeBron scores 50 every game, they can turn the season around. That wasn't the only 50 point performance this weekend. Celtics star Jason Tatum scored 50 points yesterday against the Brooklyn Nets. He is now tied with Larry Bird for the most 50 point games in Celtics history. I also can't forget Nikola Jokic MVP performance against the New Orleans Pelicans. Jokic had a triple double of 46 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists. Nikola Jokic is making his case for not only the best big man in the league, but also one of the best players in the league. The Batman just released in theaters this weekend, and not surprisingly, it was the biggest opening weekend of this year so far. Batman earned up to $134 million at the box office. This is the biggest opening weekend for Warner Brothers in the pandemic era. It is also the most by the director, Matt Reeves, in his career. So far, this movie is being well received and it is much needed after the failures of movies that DC has had for the last few years. This is another step in the right direction from DC and hopefully they stay consistent for the coming years. That is all for me, have a great day. This is Kim. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. This is Shane. And thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.